And we're live. Cool. I don't believe you. Live. So you don't, you don't have to believe me. Um, okay. right, yeah, doing that. Okay. Doing this. I need the chat bar. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Show me the live. You should have said no. Oh, I will say no. All right, cool. Um, all right, so welcome back, everyone. Yay. Yep. I sound so excited. Yeah. Um, cool, everyone dies then. Um, cool. Yeah, no, uh, so um, <laughs> the last time that everyone played, um, you we guys, made a million dollars. I mean, you guys literally have millions of dollars by comparison to real world money. Um, you um, came back from the uh, Dwarven Nation uh, after having successfully retrieved another orb. Um, you learned of um, what is uh, the location of another orb. It's in the Minotaur Nation. Um, we're going to posit that uh, in the time between then and now, it will have been a week. That will have given time for um, Mist to get his bag enchanted. Um, and also, Gotran has already gotten his bag. We already, last week, covered uh, some of what uh, uh, Gotran and um, Fiamma and um, Gray and Clancy, what they were up to, milling around town, doing some stuff. Um, I guess, uh, do your characters, with money. yeah, do, do your characters, would your characters elect to tell, um, Mist and Melody what you've been up to, or do you even mention it? <laughs> I rode no. a moose. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, so let's see, what, let's, let's have a look at our uh, current date. I don't know if you guys are keeping track, but I'm keeping track. Oh, okay, well. I have to. And I fashion. I have a children's tooth necklace now. A what? A yeah. Children's tooth necklace. Yeah, that Okay. <laughs> I didn't kill any children. Oh, okay. So I when... just took their teeth. Okay, well. <laughs> they will be extremely As you should. rude. <laughs> they will be scheduled. S scheduled, uh, what is it? Deliveries of tar fertilizer and giant wooden traps to the Coliseum yeah. forever. Also, we're healthy and safety inspectors. <laughs> yeah, <apparently. Okay>. yeah. <laughs> We elected it upon ourselves to inspect your safety. Yep. For you. Um, that last game was, you know, interesting. Uh, okay. And fun, but <laughs> that's really not your, not your typical, like, smash and grab. Um, <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Fancy smash something. <laughs> he sure did. <laughs> he, he, he did not pass. He totally, it's like smash, smash, smash. I'm um, constantly swiping on Tinder. Yeah. Um, is uh, so is is uh, is Tinder just like a um, a board that has some like small sticks on it and some pictures on it? That's timber. <laughs> no, now called timber. <laughs> um, so uh. When it's all said and done, we're gonna we're gonna uh, come to Sunday, June sixth, which, which is the day after the full moon. Um, but before that, uh, maybe let's let's have a look at what happened in the week's time um, for everyone. Um, so um, one thing that happened is uh, you guys will have noticed a, a small newspaper has sprung up in your town, um, and um, Ew, it's it's a it's it's a weekly newspaper. Um, run just by some like locals that are in the area um so uh the uh the headlines in the most recent paper uh if you would have read it um the first one is uh trade between nations ceases troll analyst rave damsey predicts shortages may lead to economic downturn uh another headline reads uh, minotaur nation under siege northern port decimated uh there's another heading uh, town of garitz evacuated um, uh, there's another uh, headline 
daughter of Duke Hrothgar still missing, tensions between the capital and major trade port rising. Uh, there's a uh, and there's an article uh, that basically states the uh, the elven assassin that murdered the firstborn uh, Prince Dunnigan uh, has been tried and executed. The sentence was carried out privately to subdue any Fae sympathizers. Um, you guys, of course, know that to be uh, incorrect um, because you helped Hawkins escape. But um, and then also um, under that, uh, there's an interview with. Uh, Prince Dorian, who happens to be the second-born prince, uh, and he discusses his plans for the Dwarven Kingdom now that he is to be the future king. So, uh, uh, did the stuff I asked the kobold to make get done? Um, it will be done. Yeah, when when, when we reach the when we get done talking about what everyone did. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's that's another thing. Uh, a uh, there's a new shop in town. Um. Where have I got that? There's a... Uh, where's he at? Yes. Uh, there's a new uh, enchanting shop. Uh, it seems to be run by Kobold. Um, so uh, that's going on. Um, there was a... There was a... Um, a uh, confrontation between uh, Clancy and a uh, merchant. There is a... Um, satyr... Impressed. It's a satyr merchant. Uh, he, he was charging the Minotaurs double. Uh, and what he was charging everyone else. Yeah, um, that sounds about right. Yeah, and there are also around town some rising concerns about the uh, the Minotaur occupancy uh, because obviously um, there aren't a lot of Minotaurs this side of the border, um, and so there's probably some distrust there. Um, so that's going on. Um, let's see. All right, so let's talk about uh, Mist real quick. What uh, kind of things has Mist gotten into uh, in that week while they're prepping to leave and waiting for, you know, stuff to get done? Well, um, he put the word out. Um, in some of his book, he got someone to transcribe some more of that book of his <clears throat> and trying to track down uh, some more rare magical items. Um, he's been waiting on his bag to get done. Yep. which I'm assuming is done. It, it, it will have been, yeah, I mean, it, it's done by the time we open up, so. Okay. Um, um, he's been running a little bit of the underground, and he's been stocking his shop. Yeah. And talking to, uh, what was it, Wax? Wax. Wax. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, also, uh, for Mist, um, obviously, uh, Fluffy's got her ear to the ground. Um, so, uh, for you, for you, uh, Gautron, uh, Fluffy is a uh, tabaxi, which is like a cat person. Um, so it's humanoid, but cat. It's furry, I guess, if you want to live that way. Um, and she runs the yeah, inn, the uh, inn and tavern, which are right here. Um, she's a carryover from Ugrin. She used to work there, uh, and they kind of burned down the inn. And um, so she came here and opened her own. Uh, but she also has some underground ties. Um, I would imagine, actually... Um, that Gautrin, uh, having come from a, a past of thievery, would have heard of, at least heard of, uh, um, Fluffy. So. Okay. Um, so that's going on. Um, so anyways, yeah, so, uh, Fluffy, uh, to Mist, um, has been, uh, well, first she tells you that, um, there seems to be a shortage of the, uh, the uh, fairy dust, um, so that any any you could get your hands on would be like you know like gold uh, because it's it's starting to run out. Um, okay. Uh, and she, 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 well, uh, well, well. Am I around when I hear this? Uh, <laughs> you know, um, you can be, I guess. Um, Good thing I have this ledger that has everything about fairy dust in the land that we were gonna burn a long time ago. <laughs> 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 It's, so what, is that ledger marked where people or bones are buried or where other uses it's are it's it's literally every dealer i think in the okay, known okay, land okay. of fairy dust yeah <laughs> was that back when y'all when y'all took the cart yeah it is mm -hmm. well you know in fact um there's probably a large stash of fairy dust in the woods where you just dumped it you know some time ago unless somebody found it possibly um, but it was in kind of a secluded place because you're out by like the Tanglewood Forest, which is really not a place people go. Um, so there's that. Um, and then um, 
also, uh, she tells you that um, there's been a lot of trade issues um, that, uh, let's see, let me look at my thing. Do, do, do. Yeah. Um, so uh, she tells you, uh, she's caught wind that um, the uh, Minotaurs are, are no longer trading with the dwarves at all. Like anything. Um, so, um, and supposedly the Minotaurs are having a <laughs> supply chain issues. Um, <laughs> so, <laughs> right. Um, it's like real world. Hit by the dogs. Yeah. Um, well, they, yeah, they were. Uh, they've been hit very, but you, but you guys don't know that. Um, so, uh, your, your, your throwaway characters that were Minotaurs know. Um, so, uh, yeah, yeah. Um, there's that. Uh, and so, um, basically she, she, she kind of tells you that the, the black market's ramping up, you know, because there's a lot of shortages. So, okay. Yep. Um, and then, uh, let's see. Melody. Yes. So, oh, uh, let's, let's, you can have a look here. Uh, your animal sanctuary is here. Yay. Yep, animal sanctuary. Just above the, uh, the brewery there. Um, and then uh, this is uh, Thomas's house that's been built. Aww. Yep. I like it. It's yep. cute. And then down here, this is uh, the house that, that uh, Clancy and Gotran built. So, <laughs> and uh, tents are being erected in that area also for the uh, the Minotaurs. So, um, so Melody, when you're when you're in the um, the brewery, uh, you're checking things out. Um, Twig Twig approaches you. Okay. Uh, and he says to you, uh, Melody, can I can I uh, speak to you in private? Sure. So uh, he, he pulls you into like you know the back office or whatever, um, and he says, uh, "Listen, um, I've been having having some troubling visions lately, um, and uh, I don't know what they all mean, but I f I felt compelled to go dig these up and give them to you." And then he like pulls out. Uh, the uh, the bones uh, the, like the full the full on skeleton from Skelly minus the head that you have. Okay. Uh, and he says, "Look, I think it's highly important that you keep these." Okay. Um, and he says, uh, "If I were you, I would store them where where no one could see or get to them." Okay. So what I'm going to do, because I'm guessing right now, um, you know, since it's just us, yeah, I'm going to put them into my bag of holding. Yeah. Cool. Um, I was going to put them in my room in the um, guild hall, but that doesn't seem like a good idea right now. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So you throw you throw, you throw them in your bag, um, and do you ask him any more questions? I mean, he tells you all this ominous stuff. What do you say? Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, is there any more information, or am I just going to keep these? He says, um, uh, well, I, I don't know what it means. Uh, I keep seeing a visions of you entangled with these bones, uh, and it will save you. Okay. I, I, don't, I don't know what that means, but, like, you need to keep them, you know, with you. Awesome. <laughs> uh, and he says, but it, it's all shrouded in darkness, the whole thing. I, I don't know what it means necessarily. A lot of things have been. So, um, so he gives those to you. Do uh, I feel like a calmness come over me? Should I inspect them? Can I, can I inspect them? Yeah, you can inspect them. Uh, like, you know, um, what's it? wow, it's been so long. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, roll in your wisdom. Discern realities. Yeah. Yeah. I was going to do a fruit salad for the kids, but then for the adults, my idea was either do like okay, 10. Yeah, so um, when you look at them, I mean, they are they are uh, the bones of Skelly there, and, and you have all of them. Um, they don't seem to be any worse for like no animals been lying on them or anything like that, so they're in pretty good condition. Um, you can still feel some like residual magic in them, uh, and, and you feel uh, you, you can feel a connection to them in to some degree. Um, and uh, they they um. They don't feel malicious or evil in any way. Okay. Yeah. So. Yeah. So you, you stuff those in uh, and you have them. And. Uh, I do it nicely. Yeah. yeah. 
So, um, all right, cool. Um, and then, uh, so it's been like another three days since uh, the incident with uh, Gray and and uh, Clancy and Godron. Um So, Gray, uh, by now, uh, the first shipments of things have started to arrive. Um, so you you, you have you have a um, a barrel of tar um, and um, you've got like a couple of couple of like 50 pound bags of fertilizer um, and uh, there's two traps uh, sitting at the Coliseum um, like bear sized okay. uh, come on. The Coliseum. so they're, they're they're up here Can we have the people who work there set the traps out here and here? I mean, right now, no one works the Coliseum. You've not hired anyone for that purpose. Did we not hire somebody? No, it's that? just it's just sitting there. Uh, in fact, we, no, we have uh, an entire family that's going to be working there. I thought we hired that entire family. Is that is that was, was their purpose was for the Coliseum? Yeah. Okay. Um, uh. Well, yeah, no, she's the only one that technically uh, works at the Coliseum. The family, right? She, the what? She's going to be working at the, uh, the Coliseum. <laughs> He's making the stuff for the Coliseum, and right. the boys are with the Okay, gun. well, we'll have to hire somebody to go, yeah. go out for it. Yeah, because you hired her as, like, a like handout snacks lady. So, yeah. I don't, I don't know. Snacks. Oh, snacks. I mean, yeah. she, she, she is a, she, well, I'd say she is a snack, but she's really not a snack. She's a, she's a dried out piece of leftover meat, but whatever. <laughs> I tell Clancy we need to get a picture of a moose commissioned. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a large one. Yep. Um, so yeah, I mean, if you if you want to, you know, hire some people for that purpose, you know, I mean. Yes. Okay. Okay. Um, actually, let me look in my bag real quick. Do we have any? Well, I mean, do you, do, you, do you put up like a now hiring sign? Is that something you do? Yeah, sure. Okay, cool. So, um, you put out a, like a now a now hiring sign, um, and um, so uh, on the on, on like the day of like people come up, a handful of people will do show up uh, to be hired, uh, and so um, let's see who shows up. So, uh, you, you've got a handful of people, uh, you've got, um, a, uh, Minotaur, uh, named Caleb. Uh, he, mm -hmm. he, lo he looks to be, like, younger, like, you know, mid-twenties. Uh, and he shows up there. Um, there's an elf, his name's Alvarez. Um, he's probably, like, early thirties, uh, you know, which is still really young for an elf. Um... And, uh, he's a baby. Yeah, he's a baby. Um, looks pretty spry. Um, there's a uh, dwarf. Uh, his name's Gamel. Um, and uh, he's older, like 110. You know, older guy. Uh, getting a little bit of gray in his beard. Um, there's a halfling named Pip uh, who shows up. Um, and uh, he's, he's probably like 40s. Uh, pretty normal. Um, there's a, a human woman named Sophia. She shows up, uh, and she's probably like, um, late teens, early twenties, fairly young. Um, and a, uh, an ogre, uh, female named Greta, who also shows up. Okay. And, uh, do you interview or you just like you're hired? <laughs> <laughs> You're hired. Ask them if they can sign their names. As an I want the elf, the dwarf, and the uh, what would the, the ogre woman, whatever. It okay, is. so you want you want Alvarez the elf, um, Gamel the dwarf, and uh, Greta the ogre. Can we ask uh, the halfling if he's a good cook? I'm just saying. Yeah, I mean, ask him. Sure. All right, I ask him if he's a good cook. Uh, let's find out. Yeah, you should probably do that. Yeah, we actually have to make food. I didn't think yeah. about that. Or, I would think half, or half anything that's like killed in the arena is ate so in the arena. Tell him if he, if he cooks, no. He's, he's a terrible he's guy. Bad. Just terrible. Oh, well, that's peachy. 
So we want the halfling for security. <laughs> cool. Well, no, like, well we need out. more than we, we need. A couple, we need a couple people. So it's uh, like Greta. I, can you look, cook? I'll just hire them all. They'll be fine. As, as long as you know, one of them has to be able to cook. Um, I don't know with Mike. With, with Michael's rolling right now. <laughs> let's see. Uh, uh, the Minotaur can cook. Oh, oh yeah, nice. I forgot about that. K yeah. K Caleb the Minotaur is a pretty good cook. Okay. Um, yeah, so you know what? Uh, that's something else, too. Um, a lot of people are saying the Minotaurs are crazy because they keep going on about, like, large insectoid monsters uh, in the ocean. Are they edible? <laughs> uh, Caleb says no. Caleb says they taste really terrible. Oh, okay. So, all right, so Caleb's going to be your cook, yeah? Okay. Yeah, I guess that works. Okay, all right, cook, cook. And then the other the other three are, are like, are they groundskeepers, or, I mean, what, what function are you assigning to them? Oh, they're setting out those, they're setting out those traps and helping with the arena. Okay, all right. Somebody's got to do it. Yep, cool. Uh, and to that effect... Yep, okay. Uh-huh. Yep, all right. Cool. All right. Um, so, yeah, they, they started doing that kind of stuff. Um, and, uh, you know, like I said, Caleb's working, doing the cooking stuff. Um, let's see, what else? Uh, Gotrin. I'm sitting, it looks like I have cat ears. <laughs> it does. Yes, it does. Um, you, can you say oo-woo for me? Say what? Oo-woo. 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 Yeah. yeah, it's U-W-U. -U -U. Oo-woo. Oo-woo. Uh, yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a, a thirst trap gamer girl kind of thing. No. Oh, shh. Don't say that out loud. Double yeah. come. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, so Gatron, uh, so it's been another couple of days. Uh, what have you been getting into? I've got my eyeball. Yeah. I've been seen if someone can enchant cupchucks to um, always, like, spawn water out of them. Okay, so, well, the only enchanter you have in town right now is the, uh, oh, the kobold. God. We're going to try it. <laughs> you know, everybody knows what kobold is. Yeah. Yeah, so, 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 so you, you, you asked him now. He did, he did enchant the, uh, the, the elephant that trickles water. So he does have some experience in enchanting things with some water and, properties. You know, he, did no, the really he, does. Cool he does. Yeah. Um, so um, let's see. So, you, yeah, you go to him. So, yeah, as, as soon as you enter his shop, uh, he's like, oh, another customer. Oh, so no, good. Zip it, zip. Oh, oh, no, what? I, I, I hold out my cup checks. Oh, a very I fine guess. craftsmanship. What? What is it that you would I like? Say, and you get these to fill up with water, or preferably mud wine. That would be amazing, but that's uh, a little bit far fetched. So I'm, I'll go with a liquid, uh, preferably a drinkable liquid. He says, "Oh, I, I see what I can do. I do have experience in chanting with water. I made this elephant, uh, his first purchased item. It's so good." I say, well, if you do this, I'll have some more business for you. So I, I hand over my cup trucks and give him a gold piece to start for his trouble. He says, oh, it's so much money. It's too much. Uh, but I, you, okay. you. I, I break it in half and give it to him. <laughs> he says, oh, you're so strong. <laughs> he's, I'm he's not just, too worried about it. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, I say, you can make it, if you can make it good with good water. Oh, is that no? Uh, Man, so, like, good today. <laughs> so he he does enchant them. <laughs> All right, what does it do? And um, what it does <laughs> is, <the> piss. <laughs> is, is it, it it produces like um like stale water that if you drank it would give you the runs, like but only only a small amount, you know, like like an ounce per cup, like per hour. Hey, it's still stuff. That, okay. Yeah, so now 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 you have enchanted cup chucks. <laughs> so there we go. Um, 
He's, and he's very proud when he gives it to you. He's like, I did it. I They now produce the water. And he hands it to you. And it like, as it fills the up. The other half of the gold. It now produces foul tasting water. Yeah. Well, Ooh, we could accidentally kind of poison someone with inconvenience. Yeah. No, yeah. It does what now? It, 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 it makes still water that gives you diarrhea. Yeah, but like one ounce per cup, per hour. <laughs> per one ounce. Yeah, per cup. So it's two cups. So you can get two ounces so, an hour. So it just sits there and trickle drips all the time. <laughs> yeah. <water>. It's like it's drawing in moisture from the air, turning it rancid and producing it. So what is it? What, what is this? What is, what is, oh, okay. yeah. You know okay, what? In look, fact, I in need... fact, that's another fun fact. You can't turn it off. It's just always doing it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't put them in your bag. Okay. No. No. It just it permanently trickles water. Yeah, but it, like it's 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 so little that like you know it's, it's not a lot. I mean, if you hang them from your belt, yeah, it'll but... just sort of like drip. Yes, but like. So anything will be able to smell where we're at ev forever. Like, like if there's like I mean, dogs or it's, it's, anything. It's it's stale and rancid, but it's it's, it's so little that like the smell is not going to be like, you know. If a dog tracked it, it could. Overwhelming. I mean, you know, it, I mean, I'm sure some of you probably don't bathe regularly, so you probably smell anyways. And what is this? What is this? What is this item again? The cup chucks. It, oh, his cup chucks. Yeah. <laughs> on mithril cup chucks. So yes. when you smack somebody with it, they also have the added insult of just of getting poison? sprayed. Of it's not quite poison, though, nasty is it? nasty water. Yeah. Ah, they, well, it may cause our enemy to shit themselves. Like, oh, what is this? Uh, why, why am I slightly <laughs> wet? <laughs> I feel like... If it I'm gets in their out, mouth... I'm turn. All right, I'm going to go... Do we have a library here, Clancy? What, 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 are you, what are you about to do? If there's a library, it's just a personal collection at this point. I mean, you could open the library. I asked, yeah. him if, I asked him if he had the brewing book and the best way to brew mud wine. We're going to make rancid mud wine. Well, Melody, oh, Melody oh. has a brewery. Ooh. Now, I do. Now, it doesn't matter what item you make. It doesn't matter. Remember, I have the fork in the, the fork spoon <laughs> that if I dip it in there, it purifies anything I put in you there. Do. Remember that. Oh, I yes. still have that item. It's a sport. So I can purify anything. Or it's, it's a spoon. That's right. Not a yes. sport. <laughs> Boom. Yeah, so I can purify anything that gets put in there. Yeah. But now, now that you mentioned that, I'm kind of. How much would it cost, Mike, for us to actually have a library in the town? Uh, I mean, the building itself. It just depends on what, what you want. But I mean, you can you can buy a building for anywhere from like, you know, ten gold, uh, you know, to hundreds of gold. Um, and so it re really the issue is stocking it with books, right? Well, that's what I'm saying. So like, you're, can't, you're, is... you're going to have to source here, books. Um, so, so now there are people that could help you with that within the group. You know, there are people that have like connections to getting things. I'm trying to think. Because I also think. I mean, like a research facility would be cool too, but that we can come back to that later. Yeah. Cool. All right. Um, so, but you, you'd like to build a library, I take it then. Yeah, I think that that would be useful. Okay, so you commission the build of a library. Yeah. All right. Also, Godron, remember I have that canteen that holds like thirty gallons worth of any liquid. So your rancid liquid, we can just collect forever. <laughs> your rancid oh liquid. This is work. <laughs> and Remember stir that. it with the enchanted spoon. Spoon. And technically, it purifies it. Yeah. It may not taste good, but yeah. I mean, you also have a water staff, Gray. I do have a permanent water staff. Yeah. That is true. So That makes infinite amounts of water. Yeah. That just pours forever as long as I'm holding it. Yeah. So, um... All right, cool. Um, so now, uh, Fiamma, what what are you uh, what are you up to? Uh, Fiamma wouldn't have done too much. She mostly would have dealt with like the orphans and all that, yeah. and getting her mask. Um, the only extra thing she would have done is she would have got all the orbs and put them in the mimic bag. Okay. When there, yeah, there was also um, the. Uh... When, when you got the uh, orbs together and put them like more than three of them, uh, they they produced a, a 
faint celestial hum near Twig. Um, have you tried them near anyone or anything else uh, since discovering this? Mm. I would have tried it near Mist. Okay. Um, so uh, with Mist, uh, you get a similar thing, but it's it's even fainter than than Twig actually. Okay, then I'm probably going to go harass Tweeg. Yeah. Cool. Uh, so, I mean, what, what do you say to him? Um, hey, Tweeg. Uh, what the fuck are you? He says, oh, I'm, I'm a goblin. I mean, I'm, I'm a dude, I guess. I'm, you know, uh, what do you mean? Could you be more specific, I guess? Who's your mommy and daddy? Uh, he says, well, um, I was, uh, created, uh, by the, uh, the demon lord Onyxia, actually, is one of the first goblins created, I suppose. Hmm. But she's... Okay, bye. But she, but, okay, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> And you walk away, and he's just like, uh, okay, sure. Because uh, I'm sure by this time, he's probably used to you, so. Um, cool. And then, uh, what is Clancy doing in, like, the last couple of days? Well, aside from advocating for Minotaur rights in this uh, wonderful, wonderful town of ours, I've probably gone and slept with the wife again. Okay. Beatrice. Yes. Yeah. Uh, While the husband's away, the Clancy will play. Uh, so I, I will say, uh, now it's only been three days, um, but uh, even in those three days, you've noticed a lifestyle upgrade uh, within their little, like, uh, mill house. Nice. They, they, they have some new furniture and some new things. She has a, a couple of finer clothes, uh, you know, um, and stuff. So there's that. I have um, fashioned the kid's necklace teeth into a necklace. <laughs> okay, you wearing it around your neck? Yeah, I do. Cool. Um, oh, and also um, for uh, Melody and Mist, um, this this little town over here is all halflings. Okay. Yeah. So. Um, yes, I will definitely explain to both Mist and Melody that without them, me, Gray, and Gotrin, as public health and safety inspectors, went and fixed a little problem with the river. Oh, okay. The halflings oh, also, I want to go into it. I want to go to the uh, Coliseum and gather some tar, and yep. inside. Uh, matter of fact, some well, yeah, in the yeah, I want some tar, and I want to put it into my thermos. Okay, yeah, uh, you, you fill your thermos with tar. <laughs> yeah, huh? You fill your thermos with tar. <laughs> okay, that's the thing you do. Yep, um, it's sticky. It's okay. You, it can come out like molasses. It doesn't matter. Yeah, um, you might make a little bit of a mess. That that that's also fine. So you're, you're doing. People to clean that up. You're doing that, and Simba's like, "Pops, what, what are you doing?" Well, well, I. What am I doing? Yeah. Well, I'm doing it because it's very flammable. Oh, oh! I thought you were gonna drink it, and I was like, "You, you can't drink that." I mean, I'm sure I could try to drink it, but I don't think that would be a good idea. Everything's edible once. He says, oh, okay, cool. He says, uh, Pops, you know, I've been thinking. Um, you know, you guys are going to go into where the Minotaurs are. Um, and I was kind of thinking, maybe I should stay here. You want to stay here? He says, yeah, I, I think that this town might need protection, because... I don't know. There's, there's going to be a lot of people here, but like, I don't know. All, 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 everyone who's strong always leaves. Oh, I can tell you there's a lot more strong people here than you think. He's, yeah? Like, like who? You go fight one of them in the guild hall. Well, uh, the, only, the only people in the guild hall are, hall are like, uh, Mist and Melody. See, I told him go fight one of them in a <laughs> guild. <laughs> no, <laughs> but, he, but, he, but he said, but they're going to leave, right? Because they're they're going to go on this adventure with you guys, right? You're all you're all going away. 
Well, Fiyama's usually here. Fiyama's going too. Yeah, oh. this time Fiyama's going on the adventure Who's as well. Mm. Mm. Well. He says, I, I can do it by myself, pups. I'm I'm big now. Clancy would like it if he stayed. Yeah, sure. The telepath link. Yeah, sure. I mean, I mean, we still have the orbs, I guess, to make, you know, and plant a tree. We don't always need you to make a tree or to make a portal yeah. when we plant a tree. He says, cool. Yeah. Yeah, I got some, I got some, uh, I, I want to I go hang out with those Minotaurs a little bit and, you know, because people don't seem to like them and so they need friends. Don't get in any trouble. He says, of course not. I, I would never get in trouble. I See, I'm a hero. I say it again. Don't get in any trouble. I won't. <laughs> okay. He says, and I, I won't turn in. I won't turn into a dragon, and I, I won't do magic. Um, yeah, we saw what happened with the tar incident. He says, "Yeah, yeah, that was, was which was also my fault." Yeah, you told me to. True. Uh, he says, "Cool, thanks, pops. Thanks for trusting me." And any any bad people attack, you eat them and take their soul. He says, "Okay, cool." But only if they're bad, because said take their soul. Yeah. yeah. So uh, now you, your character won't know this, but um, uh, basically um, Simba gains uh, levels by by consuming souls. Yeah, Ooh. that's how he gets bigger. Yeah, <laughs> uh, he's only had like three or four, I think. Yeah. So. That's it. Yeah, because what? All right, no. I put, we need to put up a town poster. Who wants to set? Who wants to volunteer yeah. for yeah. Uh, No. Wow. <laughs> no. If it's a volunteer, though. No, but... I feel like I feel like he, <laughs> look. We've already discussed this. He's basically Charizard getting getting leveled way too fast. and yeah. Doesn't listen to Ash. Well, yeah, because no. he, he's he's no. he's okay. he's still he's still less than a year old, right? Yeah. Uh, and he look, he looks like he's twenty. Um, so, what what constitutes a soul? Uh, Does it have if someone dies, he can it, it, just after death he can like consume their soul. But there have been enemies yeah, that's very that were valuable not information. Yeah, that were not human. I was going to put them my Simba up. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, they're, remember they're, the other big dragon yeah, we fought? Yeah, yeah. His you sister, don't want them she big? ate a lot of souls. It makes them, them crazy. Big? Yeah, they, well, yeah. They, they, they've met a dragon that's consumed like hundreds of souls. In fact, it's his, his sister, and she's she's a little unbalanced. She's unhinged for yeah. sure. She's a little unbalanced. A little bit. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, Melody's a little unbalanced. So. A I lot. Think everyone in this game is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's true. So. All right, cool. Um, so, yeah, so Simba, Simba decides to stay. Um, so. Um, and then. This. Y'all give me just a second. All right, so, Amanda. Yes. All right, so um, one night while you're sitting uh, in your in your room, um, the uh, the darkness overwhelms you completely, right? Okay. Uh, and you find yourself just in this black abyss, um, uh, and then you feel yourself leaving your body, mm -hmm. um. And then suddenly you're 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 in your own hand, like you, you can see your own face from the viewpoint of your own hand, uh, mm -hmm. and the darkness basically says to you, uh, "We have you now, um, and you are no longer in control." Uh, and then they stuff your soul into Skelly's head. Okay. Yep. <laughs> uh, and then they take you stuffed in Skelly's head and they shove it into the bag of holding. Okay, so. It's no longer visible. Right. Um, okay. And so, <laughs> yeah, uh, you find yourself in the nebulous void that is the bag of holding. Uh, yes. And um, with all my shit. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and you're able to like draw the other parts of the the skeleton bones to you. Okay. Right. Uh, and so slowly but surely you're forming into a, a fully fledged skeleton. Uh, so in you, the bag. you in the, you, yeah, you as the body of Skelly inside the bag. Meanwhile, on the outside, it is just the darkness. And so for right now, you're just going to play the darkness, trying to pretend to be Melly as best as it's possible. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <coughs> she, they're familiar. Yeah. Yep. I've cool. got them all listed. All right. Cool. 
So, um, Melody's having a good time with her darkness. So, there's that. Um, we lost Gray. I'm still here. Hey, okay. I'm just. Uh, I, I, I've been eating. Yeah. Okay. So Before we move on to something crazy, Wiener in the camera yeah. and doesn't want you to see. Um, I would like to talk to Tweeg and just make it that. Um, remember when we were in the Dwarven Kingdom and I said I really like that uh, uh, mall, green giant mall yes. place that I was like, all right, I want to commission that to turn my purple one into a big ass emporium type dealy. You want this this guy right here? Yes, I want to turn that into an emporium. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> you, and you wanted, let's see, let's, let's go look at it real quick just to be sure that I get what you want. Um, so, I have too many panels now. <laughs> it's a little crazy. Is this the zoomed in one? Yeah, okay. Oh, it takes real good. So, you want, like, this thing over that. here. That. Yeah. Yes, that is what I want. Okay. All right. All right. So I want that, and then um, I want to upgrade my uh, summer cottage <laughs> into a nicer house on the water there. Okay. So then, let's see. Let's move back up here. You talking about like this thing up here? Yep. Okay. Um, the 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 former uh, known crack den. Uh, crack den. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. Cool. Yeah, so yeah, uh, you tell Tweak or you tell Gorm? Um, Gorm. Because yeah, Gorm's really more in charge of that kind of stuff. Yeah, I'm going to uh, do Gorm. Yeah, all right. Let Gorm know. Yeah, all right. So, uh, yeah, Gorm's like, all right, you know, I'll, I'll get that going and for you. I want to make the uh, the fields, I want to make those into, like, um, herbs, like potions and poisons. This stuff over like, here? You know what I mean? Like you, yeah. yeah. Okay. Like, maybe this, you know, maybe... Maybe like, you know, this here and maybe a little over there just so I can start brewing my own shit and okay. selling it. <clears throat> yeah. All right. Sounds good. We can start sorting that out. Um, all right. Cool. Um, so uh, the time has come uh, to maybe start venturing out towards the Minotaur Kingdom. Um, and uh, so uh, it's uh, Fiamma. Melody, Mist, Gray, and Gautron, right? That's who all's going? And Clancy. And Clancy. Clancy going too? Yep. Okay. Yeah, since right. we're heading towards where the cloak is. The cloak of bees, yeah. Yeah, the bees. <laughs> yep. Um, cool. All right, so um, you guys are getting ready to go. Uh, so do you get... Uh, are you going to take a cart? I'm, I'm hoping, I'm guessing. Oh, <laughs> I am leaving a bag of transference, you know, because I had both bags now. Yeah. I'm leaving one of them with Wax. Okay. All right. Cool. Wax has it. Mm -hmm. uh, so, uh, you guys, so you're taking a cart? Yes? You're taking a cart? Yeah. Oh, right. uh, yeah. And are you using the, uh, the donkey and the raptor? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Gotran, I don't, I don't, I don't know if, if we've covered this, but uh, their, their beasts to carry their cart is, is a donkey and a raptor. Awesome. Yeah. Um, some of them can talk to them. Uh, the uh, was it the raptors? All right, I think, but the donkey's a butt. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> so the donkey will not tell us his, his name. name. No. But the raptor's name is Butch. Yeah. So, anyways, um, all right. So you guys look at the map, and um, so once again, um. Just from the news and stuff, you know some things are going down in the north that are not great. Um, so you've got you've got two paths you can really take, right? So you're here in the guild, sort of in this little peninsula. Um, the tar capital is over here, um, and uh, so you can take sort of a northern route across this way. Um, probably take you through Kirmaru's, um, and then kind of this way uh, or uh, you, you can go from Makratir um, and then there's a, a pretty major trade route you see this dotted line that kind of goes all the way up through here and then you can kind of just cut north to the Minotaur capital from that um, so I guess my question to you is um, and also you have warp points both in Kirmaru's and Makratir so you can kind of like 
skip a part of your journey anyways by going to one of those two places. So what are you guys thinking? Are you taking the northern route or the southern route? I'm feeling like the main trade route. Yeah, I was going to say, I feel the, the trade route as well. Yeah. So now you have less, uh, you technically have less experience on the main trade route because uh, a lot of your travels have taken you across this way. But like I said, um, there, there seems to be some turmoil maybe in that direction um, from what you've heard. Maybe that's why we want to avoid it. Yeah. Just right. to piss you off. Hey, <laughs> listen, I don't care which way you go. <laughs> the Minotaurs to be our guide. Um, so, is that something you'd want to do? I mean, it might not be a bad idea. Yeah. Uh, so, at least initially, any of the Minotaurs you talk to are basically like, like hell no, we're not going back to the Minotaur capital. Things are really bad there. There's bug monsters. <laughs> uh, so, uh, are you going to try and convince them otherwise, anyways? Yeah, tell them we could help. We might be able to help out some other Minotaurs who are stuck. Um, it would help us just to have a, a guide. So, Can you train the bugs? <laughs> no. Um, so uh, let me well, get fuck. let me get um, you to roll on charisma. Who me? Yeah, because you're the one asking. Man, can we be drinking while we do this? <laughs> <laughs> you can. Yeah, sure. Why not? Awesome. Well, he's drinking mud wine, which gives him a plus ten. So it's gonna be a plus three. A success. Oh, still trash. <laughs> yeah. So um, most most of the Minotaurs are still basically like heck no. Um, there there is uh, there's one right. So there there's one Minotaur. Um, it's uh, yep. Um, it's this female Minotaur. Her name's Mabel. Um, Aww. Yep. And she's uh, she's in her sixties. Uh, oh. <laughs> is, that old? is that old for a minotaur? Yeah, let's say, let's say minotaurs and, and humans okay. have similar lifespans, right? Okay. Um, she's like, please let me die. Yeah, and, and she's like, she she basically says like, ah, oh, well, you know, I don't I don't have any like, my, my family's all dead and I have nothing left to live for, uh, so like uh, I'd I'd be willing to you know guide you, to the best of my ability, anyways. She says I I won't be much help uh, this side of the border, but once we pass into the minotaur nation, nation I, I can be of more use. Uh, and the question is, is everyone else on board with that, right? Yes. Hey, if the old lady wants to come with us and die, that's fine. Yeah. Clancy, don't give a damn. Cool. Um, all right. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, she she joins your party. Uh, Sacrifice for the Invisibugs. Yeah. Now, are, are you guys looking to take anyone else with you? Are you, like, going to hire any people to come with you kind of thing? Or are you just going just yourselves? Um... Do we have someone to drive the cart? Uh, not currently. Just take one of the toothless boys. I've got oh, an my. idea. <laughs> yeah. Clancy or Viyama? Viyama? No, no, Clancy. Yeah. Okay. This is immediately a terrible decision. I'm going to transform. <laughs> kind of well into a moose. <laughs> okay. Return of the moose. Hook me up. I'll lead them. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. I mean, you are you guys are you guys gonna harness up Clancy and let him lead the other animals? Uh, why not? Like, but it, with a nine, which part of him didn't transform? Like a pinky toe or? No. Uh, gosh, the, head. The... the head. The <laughs> head. <laughs> Never transforms. <laughs> Basically, he just gets like like one hole or two holes or something. Uh, it's yeah, a, it's, uh, a, it's just a different. It would be hilarious player. though if he just kind of half transformed. Yeah, <laughs> that happens on like a six minus. Yeah. So okay, um, so yeah, you guys, you guys saddle up Clancy uh, to go, and um, the uh, the old lady uh, Mabel um, is like, well, if I hadn't done seen everything, that uh. That big-headed feller just turned into a moose, didn't he? What have you seen? He says, well, I've seen giant bugs devour a city. So, that's I feel cool. like that's kind of crazy. Killed killed my husband and my children and my grandchildren. I was the only one left alive. So, 
As I, I was out getting, getting the wheat for the bread, and when I came home, this, it's all demolished. I was running and screaming, and you know. As her story gets more and more uncomfortable, I stare off listlessly away from her. <laughs> she says, uh, "She says, uh, yeah." And then, um, who, who else is standing there while she's telling her story? Anyone? I am. Yeah. <clears throat> she looks over at you and she am. says, uh, you know, I think there's something wrong with that lass. She looks a little dead inside. <laughs> I take uh, no, nope. she's very alive, alive inside, unfortunately. You do what? I take her tail and wipe a tear from my eye. She says, <sighs> dwarves. I guess I'm in your nation, so. Yes. What it is. <laughs> um, I buck at her. And uh, he's lively one, huh? Yeah. You know, I dated a moose once. I was young. <laughs> I begin strutting around her. She's like, I mean, didn't have a big head like this one did. You know. <laughs> you know. But uh, you know, it was, it was it was a weird time. It you know it was. You know, forty years ago, and we we were we were doing the ladies' minotaur liberation front. You know, for free the utter, of course. Uh, <laughs> I look up at her and say, "The other what?" No, no, the, 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 no, I know, I know, I know, no, 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 no. But she's, she's 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 like the utter, you fool, the utter. You know, this right here. The other she's, what? She's, 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 she slaps her utter. <laughs> oh my god <laughs> it's it's in a utter harness I don't know <laughs> Miss pukes a little in his mouth <laughs> she's, like, Gray is a little... <laughs> she's where I keep my wallet <laughs> Gray is a little intrigued by that <laughs> huh just tiny utter pasties yeah uh, but she, oh, she, she's old so her, her utter is probably a little uh, shriveled and saggy um so, Grace probably. <laughs> yeah, before we leave, do I have my bag? Because yeah, yeah. I'm not leaving without it. Yeah, yeah you okay. got your bag. Yeah. And and nothing went wrong. The guy did exactly what I asked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, because you yeah you, you give it to him, did it in the full moon, um, and um, so um, and Gotran, do you, do you tell people about your eye, or is it just something you have and no one knows? I think Clancy knows. Okay. That's about it. Okay. We live together. Yeah. Um, yeah. All right, cool. Uh, I'm going to telepathically tell Simba to keep an eye on the Minotaurs and make sure they're not mistreated. Simba says, I got you, buddy. Yeah. I'll bring you back something nice. All right. So now you're, you're getting ready to, uh, you know, do the tree warp business. <laughs> um, do you, do you, uh, do you just let the, the maple, the Minotaur lady see the tree warping? Or I guess, let me ask, are you doing the tree warping? Or are you going to take the week-long journey to Macritere? Let's take a week-long journey. It's been a while since we've had a nice stroll. Yeah, fuck it. Okay. Eh. Cool. Yeah, so yeah, you, you start making your way to Macritere, and then, uh, well, let me do this. Uh, so yeah. Um, so uh, because you're taking the week-long journey to Macritere, it's going to take you probably about five weeks to get to the Minotaur capital total. Okay. Because um, distance. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I mean, your, your, your trade route on your, your, your passage uh, going to Macritere uh, is pretty, pretty normal. There's nothing, nothing crazy that happens along the way. Um, but I will say um, when you start approaching uh, Macritere, um, you do notice uh, there are a lot of carts um, leaving Macritere. As, as, as you get closer and closer, you see more people sort of uh, going away from Macritere. Um, okay. Now, do you, do you stop any travelers and ask anything, or do you just like keep your you know keep your nose to the grind and head on? I will ask. Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Miss, they like miss better than I yeah. can. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> do, 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 do you look for any? Uh, particular configuration or uh, race of, of people to ask um, or because uh, l- let's say you know you, you might pass some human families uh, you may pass like you know a collection of all like dwarven men 
um, you might pass a collection of um, uh, I'll ask uh, the dwarves. Elves. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, yeah. So you see, uh, it's about uh, five dwarven men, uh, and they seem to be like a almost like a trade convoy. Um, and um, so you're you're yeah, you're passing in your carts, um, and you just yell out. Uh-huh. Yeah, I'll take a plus one because we're dwarves and they like to look at me. All right, yeah. So, uh... Okay. All right, what, what do you yell? I yell, what's happening? Where are we running? All right, say, Oi! You there! Dwarf! What's your name? Yatrin, what's yours? Is me? Ah. <laughs> I'm, I'm... They call me Mudsy. <coughs> Good name. What's happening, Mudsy? Is well... We leave in Macrotir, you see. Uh, the trade's dried up, and when your entire town's built on trade, I ain't no reason to What's stay there. The tra- okay, I interrupt him a little bit. What's caused the trade to dry up? He says there ain't no more ships coming to port. He says uh, Minotaur said they ain't trading with us no more. Do they give you a reason besides that? Well, there's a lot of rumors floating around, uh... Seems like they're having some trouble in the Minotaur Nation, and maybe the dwarves uh, said they ain't helping. How far is the trouble spread? He says, pretty far, I think. Things getting bad all around. Alright, I wave. They wave. Yeah. He's like, don't don't stay there too long. Appreciate it. Alright. Um, and, uh, yeah, so you, you guys carry on. Um, did, well, did, anyone else, did anyone else attempt to talk to them while that was going on? I'll attempt to talk to some wildlife. <clears throat> All right. Yeah, cool. Um, so, yeah, you're trying to run. There's, there's squirrels, rabbits, you know, that kind of stuff. Roll. Fair warning. I don't understand wildlife. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have any animal talking skills, I guess? Nope. No. Oh, uh, I'm just talking to the animals. Yeah. Well, so, yeah, I mean, when you turn into a moose, I mean, do you, do you speak moose when you become a moose, or do you still just speak common, I wonder? Uh, likely, I'd be able to speak the animal I am. Okay. But uh, um, but there there are there's gonna be any moose. Right. Yeah. There there are not a lot of moose. Um. Yeah. So I mean, they they just you know, uh, if you if you moose at something, it, it just chitters back at you and runs away. Can I try to catch a squirrel? Uh. Yeah. Yeah. Roll. Well. Um. I guess the question is, is can you talk to squirrels right now? I don't know. Can I? Yeah. So you can catch a squirrel. Uh, roll, roll dex. Okay. So yeah, so you uh, you catch a squirrel. Uh, and... and I throw it in my bag. <laughs> All right. Why? I guess is a good question. Um... Because animals. <laughs> okay. Do you want a repeat of the cat incident? <laughs> the squirrel's not destined for death. <laughs> um. Squirrel in the hole. Yeah, you, I mean, you, you throw a squirrel in the hole, um, <laughs> and uh, it disappears into the bag. Uh, does anyone else? Um, is anyone else around when you do this? Nope. <laughs> uh, I guess it, everyone else give me a, a, a roll. Um, discern realities to see if you you pay attention to anything that's going on. Oh. Clancy, no. <laughs> Fiamma, kinda. Uh oh. Natural twelve. Yeah. Okay. So, um, <laughs> both Gray and Gatrin uh, very clearly see like Melody kind of run off in the woods uh, and grab an animal and like stuff it into like her cloak or whatever. Um, and then um, Mist uh, and uh, Fiamma. Fiamma. Um, <laughs> Definitely notice her like run off in the woods doing something, not necessarily what. Um, and then, um, yeah, I mean Clancy's like completely oblivious, right? Um, I'm busy talking to squirrels. Right. Uh, and um, it, it is is a little bit of, of odd behavior. Um, does anyone ask about it? I guess. I just shake my head. Is it just me, or did a fucking squirrel just disappear into her cloak? I lift up my patch, see it. Now, are we all sitting next to each other? Say, yeah. We're all around the cart. Awesome. So I heard Gray say, did she just put a squirrel in her bag? Um, well, actually, Gotran, let me get you. To, uh, so her, her pouch is uh, its actually a bag of holding. 
So it's 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 it's, it's a it. weird. Well, let me let me get you to roll um, discern realities on. Um, yeah, I guess your wisdom. Uh, to see to see. Uh, yeah, yeah, no. Um, yeah, when when you go to peer in the bag, it just seems like dead. <laughs> it seems like dead space. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so, um, but perhaps at this point you didn't know it was a bag holding, and so now you know there's something weird about her bag. Because it's it's not even like, you know, hot or cold. It's just like it's it's like nothingness. So there's that. Um, all right, cool. Um, anyone anyone else doing anything like uh, I swear, I swear strange? That girl ain't right. <laughs> cool. Um, so yeah, you, you guys uh, finally arrive um, at. Uh, old Macrotier here um, and um, the last time you were here there were guards at the gate um, and now the gates are just like open neat yeah I'm continuing in yep yeah. um, yeah so when you when you guys get in uh, to the city a little bit um, now the last time you were here uh, there was a big sort of uh, hubbub and to do where a lot of the town was on fire because it was being ravaged by some magic users. Uh, a lot of buildings are destroyed. And so uh, what you see right <laughs> off the bat is um, what looked like was construction uh, that was going on, but now it's like half finished, right? So a lot of the buildings were being repaired, and it looks like they're not being repaired anymore. Um, is there any place you want to go while you're in town, or you just want to, like... What time of day is it? Um... Let's say, in fact, let's go to, um, let's say you're having midday. Uh, Do y'all want to find it in for the night? Yeah, that sounds good. So, for a week later, so, Sunday, it is now Sunday, June 13th. Um, and I will do this and that and the other. So, uh, you have some in options. Um, so, uh... Now the uh, the walls to the main castle area that those are still like closed uh, with some guards out in front of them. Um, there's an inn back up in here uh, that you stayed at before. Uh, just pretty standard inn. Um, and then there's also uh, was it the rusty cunt? I think it was the rusty cunt. Um, mm -hmm. Which is the this sunken cunt? The sunken cunt. Okay. Oh, it was cunt. that. You're right. Yeah. Uh, and that's so that's out here, uh, and that's like a pub type thing. And then you also had the um, was it the Krusty Krab? Yeah, I want to say, which is over here on the riverfront. Uh, so those are places that you know. Um, I think you also know there to be uh, an inn over here on this side as well, uh, near the um, the the Merchants Guild. So where are you looking to stay? Obviously, it must be the rusty cunt. Sunken cunt. Yeah. Sunken cunt. Yeah. I mean, does everyone else want to stay there? No. No. <laughs> 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 Not with the disease-ridden sailors. No, thank you. Yeah. What about Mr. Nope, Gray? I'll go stay at the nicest place. Yeah. Um, so I'm fine to stay at the rusty cunt. <laughs> <laughs> Who cares? I got laid last time around the corner, remember? Um, I ain't get nothing. Are, so are you going to stay different places? Cam um, is definitely yeah. not okay. staying at the Rusty Cunt. Wait a minute, where's <laughs> everybody else fun. staying? Nobody's, everybody's leaving me? Man, no, no. always party poopers. Man. Clancy's going with you. Oh, Clancy? This is where I found Clancy, Bracey. <laughs> <laughs> it is. Oh, home sweet home. Oh, look, they're reuniting. Yeah. We're back here again. Okay, so uh, so uh, Clancy and Gray and uh, Gotrin, are you going to the sunken cunt as well? Why not? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then uh, so Mist and Melody, and then also the uh, so uh, Maybell uh, has no desires to stay there. I I, w I would imagine so. Yeah. Um, so uh, you guys are probably going to stay on this side then, uh, at the uh, the nicer establishment. It has a name, but I I just don't feel like looking it up. Um, Fiamma's going with them. Yeah. All right. Uh, so yeah, you, you guys stay at this nicer establishment. Um, yeah, it's the whispering eye. Yeah. <laughs> so um, 
we're gonna cut over to the sunken cunt then real quick where um clancy and gatrin and gray are um you guys uh walk in um and uh as soon as you do uh let's see um Where's it at? What town are we in? What town are we in? Ugh. That town. The merchant yeah, one here. that's here not anymore. Here. Nope, I got it. Um, here we go. Yeah. yeah. As soon as you walk in the door, uh, uh, Gray, uh, these two elves uh, see you and they're like, Gray! Uh, no. And they like sort of drunkenly walk up to you. Uh, and like, oh, what's up, my man? It's you fuckers. <laughs> it's like, yeah, it's... Hey, guys, how you, how you doing? It's a, a, roll a spout lore for me. It's on your intellect. Uh, wait a minute. Let's make sure that's not a... Let's make sure that's not a negative modifier. <clears throat> no, it's not. Yeah. Yeah, see, so you remember their names. Uh, uh, but you don't remember which is which, right? So you know their names are uh, O'Connor and Randall. Um, but you can't remember which one is which. Um, yeah. So, um, like, oh, man, how you, how you been doing? Great. Like, like hey, where's uh, where's that uh, foxy elf girl you used to with you? Not here. It's like, oh, oh, that's too bad. That's too bad. Uh, they're like, oh, man, what are you doing back around here? I hadn't seen you in, like, months. Uh, nothing. You're like, we're... Just just visiting. It's like, oh, man. Yeah, I'm, glad, I'm glad to see you made it out. You know, I mean, yeah, last time you were here, like, all that crazy stuff went down, right? I have no idea what you're talking about. He's not, nah, man. Like, all those, all those uh, what, what do they call themselves? Uh, imp core, I think. All those, uh, those imp core magic yahoos were, like, attacking the town and slaughtering <sighs> people left and right. Yeah, and then and then someone like just stop in... talking, just stop, just, just yeah. <laughs> nah, but yeah. like no, it's so because listen, someone <laughs> someone broke into the the uh, merchant scale and stole a bunch of stuff, uh, and then <laughs> and then set off like a drug bomb. It's ridiculous. Yeah, mm. that sounds terrible. They're horrible people. They yeah, and then that, and then I couldn't believe, I couldn't believe my eyes. Says one of them, uh, a dragon like flew like overhead it, i've never i thought dragons weren't even real and then there it was plain as day flying over the town yeah so you, you don't remember any of that Just yeah one. yeah i do oh I, 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 yeah i remember that it was terrible yeah terrible. no she says uh yeah i mean like but like coming here uh i mean you know this this town's dying i mean we're we, we we're don't all even... dying anyway uh he, well, yeah. What? Yeah. yeah. Uh, who's 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 your friends? Well, you know Clancy. Uh, I don't uh, no, cuz they met Clancy in the Coliseum, and so I don't think Clancy was hanging out with them. They, I think Frogger was with them the last time that they were like Yeah, Kroger. Kroger, yeah, Kroger. Frogger. Frogger whatever. Same difference. Yeah, I got a ball sack coin uh, purse of his. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. That's... Yeah. Um, but uh but yeah, remembers. yeah. So, so yeah. They're, they're, they're inquiring about the the uh, the dwarf and big headed person. Well, are you still a moose? Yes. <laughs> uh, Why would I ever fucking bring a moose? Yeah. You don't those, bring those, a moose. I just walked those in. Those sailors are you. gonna try to fuck it. <laughs> yeah. It's uh, possible as well. Yeah. One of them says, "Is that a a boy moose or girl moose?" Do what? I stand on my hind legs and flash a very, very unnaturally small moose penis. Scott, it's boy moose. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Cool, cool. He says, uh, he's like, you, you hanging out with dwarves now? Kind of looking at Gotrin. There's nothing wrong with dwarves. Why is, is I, everybody so racist? He says, uh, I mean, this town's full of dwarves. I didn't say nothing. I just, last time you were here, you... Well, every you know? time somebody says the sentence, do you hang out with this now? Or, oh, you're with them now. It's always something bad. He says, I mean, we're sailors, man. We, we accept everyone. Okay. He says, so, uh, what you drinking, little man? Uh, as they talk to you, Gotrin. Mud wine, baby. 
He says, "Ugh, detestable stuff." Uh, but Maybe I mean, mom, but we won't complain about that. <laughs> he says, ah, "Yeah, I know." <laughs> I mean, this guy's been with my mom more times than I have. <laughs> Wait, what? They're sailors. Oh well, man, that's, I don't know. That's still uh. <laughs> anyway. Uh, so uh, he says, "Ah, well, let us buy you around." And uh, they they order a round of drinks, uh, mud, mud wine for Gatrin, uh, just regular ale for uh, you and themselves. And then like, uh, does your uh, your moose drink? Yeah, he does. Get him a double. He says, yeah, get the moose a drink too. Whatever. Um, <laughs> I'm going to pseudo prop myself up like I'm sitting in a bar chair. Yeah. Uh, how are you gonna grab the drink? In my mouth. Cool. Um, so yeah, they, they they get you around drinks, and so they they start telling you. Um, you know, they're like, yeah, they're uh, they're doing like odd jobs around town because, uh, like I said, the, all the sailing work has kind of dried up, um, mm-hmm. and um, and by odd jobs, prostitution. <laughs> I mean, who knows, right? They just say they just say, ah, oh, just a little of this, a little of that, um, and uh, yeah, yeah. They, they they tell you that uh, basically, um, no no one ever comes or goes from the uh, within the walls of the sort of the royal court anymore um and that the uh the duke has gone like uh a little um insane uh and that like anytime anyone does anything to like cross him they, he basically has them executed um and uh, they're like um like inquisitions regularly because he's still looking for his missing daughter Duke probably should find her. The people who took her are fucking assholes. Mm. He says, I know, right? I mean, who'd steal a dwarf anyways? See, what did I just say? <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. It's not, because they're like, they're short and they eat a lot. You're not wrong. But that's not the point. Like, I, I, I don't need another mouth to feed. Uh, I mean, listen, man. It's a, it's a good romp, but like, you know, you don't marry him. Mm. Like, like they, they sprinkle dirt into everything they make. <laughs> it's gross. Uh, I'm gonna moose kick one of them. <laughs> uh, I roll strength, I guess. Do I get some kind of bonus for that now that I'm a uh, moose? Uh, you can you can take uh, you can do extra damage, I guess. Barely a moose kick. Yeah, I mean, so yeah, I mean, roll, roll some damage. <laughs> roll, roll an extra d4. Uh, what the hell is this? Okay. <laughs> yeah, wow. I mean, you, you, uh, you, you, you kick one of them whose whose name you still know. You just know that one of them is Randall and one of them is O'Connor. Um, you, you kick one of them uh, unconscious, uh, and then the other one just like. Slaps his knee and laughs. And he says, <laughs> <laughs> Dumbass. Uh, <laughs> and he says, ah, I miss this kind of stuff. He says, uh, Gray, you sure do bring a lively bunch with you every time you come. He always, says, hey, man, also, always. We're, we're sorry we attacked you uh, that last time you were here. You know, because that's how you met them. Yeah. Oh, I remember. Yeah. Because there, there was a brawl about something. Uh, I think, um, was it, uh, what's his name? Uh, Brad's character. Wildheart. 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 Was he, he was fighting a dwarf or something and then they got, in, they got in the middle of it. Yeah. I think that's what happened. Yeah. And, uh, and, and, then, and then you got involved else. somehow. Um, yeah, yeah, because I picked him up and stopped him and they got mad. Yeah. Uh, they were drunk. Um, yeah, so anyways, and you guys racist. are sort of having having that that you know time there in the uh, the sunken kind. Uh, meanwhile, in in the nice inn, um, <laughs> oh, also, so, uh, Nacatir has some music. Um, so in the in the uh, in the nice inn, um, are uh, Mist, uh, and Melody, and Fiamma, and um, Maybell like having a meal together or are you having separate in your rooms or 
Uh, I was going to sit down and have a beer at the bar. Yeah, okay. I would sit down. If everyone's going to eat out there, then I'll eat with them. Yeah, all right. Um, so, uh, yeah, you got, you guys were having a, a meal. Um, and uh, so uh, maybe I'll look over at Melody uh, and says, um, Deary, you've been quiet this whole trip. Uh, you okay? Yep. Okay. So, uh, you, you got a man in your life? Got any kids? Nope. And no. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, I mean, you know, it's different times. Some women choose to be alone, I guess, nowadays. Something about not needing men or whatever, I suppose. Uh, I say Some. kids joy of life, you know, but, you know, I guess they ain't for everybody. Says, I uh, have animals. Yeah, yeah, animals good too, I guess. Uh, well, uh, what about you? And she turns to Fiamma and she says, uh, a fiery lady like you, you got, probably got some men in the wind. Mm, whichever one pays the most. Is oh, oh that's, 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 uh, well, <laughs> that's different, you know. Uh, usually, usually ladies don't talk about that kind of thing, you know, they keep it to themselves. Mm, I don't care. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, and she kind of like, like leans over and she's like, I, I had my fair amount of romps too in my day. Shh, don't tell nobody. <laughs> <laughs> I like you. Uh, and she says, uh, and, uh, what about you, Mr. Stoic? Looking at Mist. And I just look at her and be like, you ask too many questions. She says, I mean, I'm just an old lady living her life. I mean, you you, you fellas asked me to come along. It's a little conversation between between comrades. I feel isn't too much. So uh, when we get attacked, and we will get attacked, how good are you at fighting? She says, why are we going to get attacked? We always get attacked. <laughs> he says, she says, uh, I mean, you wear all those, all those weapons, and you always like flaunting money around. I mean, no wonder you get attacked. Like I said, when we get attacked, <laughs> how how good of a fighter are you? She says, "Well, I ain't much of a fighter. Uh, I'm, you know, I'm a homemaker. I was, I was a." I hand her a fork and I say, "Use the pointy end." <laughs> she says, "I mean, I don't, I don't fare very well." I mean, my, uh, my husband, he worked the farm and the kids too. And I made the meals and, you know, took care, took care of the little, uh, you know, hedgehogs we had there in the pens. And so hedgehogs. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah man. Uh, hedgehogs have a uh, really good milk. Yeah. Hedgehog milk. <laughs> He says it's delicious. He says it's it's a bitch to harvest, but like mm, nothing sweeter. Nope, not gonna touch that. Just just like call the bartender and be like, hedgehog milk, please. All, all I can think of is fucking meet the fuckers. Can you can you milk a cat, Greg? Can you can you do that? Fucking <laughs> 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 hedgehogs, man. Um. So, uh, uh, shit. While, while you're in there in the inn, uh, through the door, uh, you hear, like, the, the opening of the door, um, and, uh, so, uh, someone calls out, uh, and it goes, uh, Melody? Oh, Lord. Oh, no. Does, uh, does Melody say anything, or does she say completely ignore it? She thinks about it, but then she looks up. Um, is it, and, uh, so when you make eye contact, um, there's a, a halfling, uh, and, uh, you know, kind of like limps up to you, uh, and oh. says, um, it's, it's, it's me, uh, Hugo. Hey, Melody. I thought Hugo was a dwarf. Uh, no, halfling. Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, I literally, it's in my notes, right? Hugo the halfling, junk trader. Okay. All yeah. right. Then I'll, then I'll t tell him hello. Yeah. Um, and, uh, he's like, ah, oh, hey, uh, yeah, wow, uh, 
Didn't know if I'd ever see you again. Figured you might, you might have died in the attack. I'm crafty. Yeah. Um, he says, uh, so, uh, did you, uh, did, were you able to accomplish what you were trying to do? And he's kind of like, yeah, under his breath a little bit, you know. Okay, out of character, what was I supposed to accomplish? Uh, you were bringing into the, uh, the, uh, uh, merchant guild. And we did so. Yeah. I'm just gonna be like, yes. Oh, good, good, good. Well, hey, yeah, I, you know, I so said once again, in all the chaos that happened, I didn't know, uh, didn't know what was gonna happen. I mean, you know. I think things just got so crazy. Uh, and, uh, let's see. He had a name. He had a name. Oh, yeah. He says, uh, you know, somebody got the drop on Tim Zetti, uh, who is the, uh, the head of the, um, mm -hmm. the uh, Merchant's Guild. Uh, he says, uh, yeah, he, he wound up, like, like naked and on the floor, uh, passed out in, in, in the guild, and people <laughs> stole stuff from him. Uh, he wouldn't he wouldn't say what, but apparently it was some pretty pretty rare stuff. Uh, and then uh, you know the merchant skills have been sealed up since then. Uh, yeah, they 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 put all kinds of boards up on it and magic seals, and I don't know what's going on in there. A lot of protection for like. Not a lot left, I guess, because it seems like that there's no merchant work here. He says, "Yeah, well, I mean that that happened before all the merchant work dried up. That's that's really only been like in the last few weeks or so." He says, Are "Yeah, it's, it's hard, you know. I uh, uh, and he kind of like he, he looks at his feet and he's kind of fumbling around. Uh, and then you you can spot that like his clothes are pretty tattered, uh, and." He looks a lot thinner uh, than he did the last time um, you saw him. Um, but uh, maybe you don't care about that. I don't know. Um, but uh, he, Ew, the poor. Yeah. Um, <laughs> he's, like, he's like, yeah, I... Uh... Even though Fiamma's super poor. What? No, she's got... Fuck, how much money does she have? She has, like, over almost 400 gold. Oh, that's right. She's not poor. She, she just looks look poor. poor for well, she, she's dead. Is she wearing the, the, the rag dress? Or? Oh, she's definitely wearing the rags. They're her battle attire. Yeah. Um, he's like, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's, been, it's been tough times. Tough times. I lost a, lost my house. You know. Uh, <laughs> anyways, yeah, I was just, just coming here to meet a man about a job. Anyways, yeah, it's good seeing you. Uh, so, uh, Maybe I'll... Uh, hey, you I mean, want a job? Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah. Yeah, of course I do. We've got a cart with a very unruly uh, moose. If you want mm -hmm. to try your hand at that. He says, uh, I mean, you, you, uh, well, I can't, I can't really do, like, uh, moose, moose shoes or anything. Oh, no. How about you try and steer it? Oh, steer a cart. Yeah, I could, I could probably steer a cart. I lean over to Miss and be like, this should be fun. Yep, that's going to be weird. Uh, he says, yeah, yeah. Uh, it where, makes where... me so sad because I want to help him, but I know that no fuck's given. Yeah. Um, so oh, he'll get paid after he gets kicked. Yeah. Um, so, uh, <laughs> let's see. Um, he's like, uh, so where, where are you headed? Uh, where were we? Where? where which which where? fucking town were we headed to? I was about to say, I don't... It's I been three remember. years, Mike. We don't remember. <laughs> you're, you're, you're going to Tar, the, the Minotaur capital. Yeah, but that next one, what the hell was that thing called? On the road? Because ah. we've never been there. No, you haven't. Um, so, uh, the next major town... I mean, there, there's, there's probably some small towns along the way, too, but um, the next major town is... Uh, Cybo burn, I think. I need a, a bigger map. Something like that. We're heading to Hippie Town. <laughs> Cybo burn. Let me pull up my better map. Better map. Maps, maps, maps. Dungeon World. Maps. Oh. Okay. 
Yeah. Uh, this, uh, Cyoberan. Cyoberan. C- yeah, C-Y-O-B-E-R-A-N. Cyoberan. That is where we're headed. Um, he says, oh, you're going to Cyoberan. Okay, cool. Yeah, that's a... Uh, that's along the major trade route. It's a, it's a decent little city. Uh, yeah, I can I can uh, go there with you. Maybe there maybe there's be some different work there. Something less uh, less trade based because you know it's not great here. Yep, sounds good. Cool, cool. <laughs> uh, so uh, listen, um, I don't have anywhere to stay the night. Uh, do you think I could? <laughs> Do you think I could sleep in your cart? Why don't you go... Why don't, why don't you go down to the sunken cunt and look for the moose instead? Uh, why, why would the moose be, be at the tavern? He's an alcoholic. You, you have an alcoholic <laughs> moose? <laughs> yes. Uh, okay, uh, does, does the moose have a, have a name? Ask for Clancy. For for Clancy. Okay. Oh, Clancy. I mean, Clancy's not a moose. M- m- you know what? Maybe it's a different Clancy. That's. I'm sure there's probably more than one Clancy in the world. Uh, okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll go look for a moose. Is there, is there uh, he says uh, there is only one. He says uh, you and you're not. This isn't a joke, right? I don't. No, I'll pay you personally. Okay. I'll go ahead and slip him ten gold coins. Right, it's, whoa, whoa, whoa! Right, hey, listen, this uh, not 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 out in the open, man. Uh, listen, uh, you... he said slip. Yeah. He didn't just give the dude something. He said slip. Yeah. I didn't I whip out my him. money bag and just shower him in gold. <laughs> <laughs> <He's> like <laughs> <laughs> just pelting him with gold pieces. You said uh, this dude was a, a a little person, right? Yeah, he's a halfling. Yeah, sweet. So I'm going to lean over and be like, hey, man, if you're so worried about somewhere to sleep, and I just look at my bag, and I'm like, you can fit in here. (laughs) He says, uh, (laughs) I don't think I can, sir. I'm going to reach into the bag, and I've got like that, what is it, that like six-foot freaking mithril rod that Fiamma gave me, and I'm going to pull out like four feet of it, and then I'm going to drop it back into the bag. But but the thing about the bag, right, is... The bag still has a circumference, right? And so you can only get things in it that, like... Because we have already established that a skinny person can fit in it because and, I've already put and, someone in it, Mike. So was, nice fucking try, buddy. Right, but it, it still might be a snug fit, right? He, he still I don't probably. give a shit. He can fit. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I, that's... Uh, I can't put a full minotaur in there, but I sure the fuck can put a halfling in there. <laughs> a like, starving halfling. I mean, he might, he might get a little stuck at the shoulders. Uh, I'm still pushing him in. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, he, he's like, uh... Yeah, that's, I mean... That's okay, man. Uh, I don't. All right. I don't think that's something I want. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I guess. I guess for, for a price, I could. <laughs> if that's something you really want. I'll mumble something like, "It's for the better." The last guy that was in there kind of went crazy. Is that, oh, okay. Um, you know what? I'm just gonna look for that moose now. All right. That sounds good. Cool. <laughs> cool. Uh, and he walks away. Uh, and then maybe I was like, I kind of like that little feller. Yeah, he's weird. He's, smelled good. He seems he, he seems like he's a little sweet on you there, dearie. Uh, talking to Melody. Yeah. Um, he says, uh, she says, uh, I don't blame you, though. I don't want no short man either. <laughs> <laughs> he says, I, I don't, I don't want to crush him when I'm on top. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> this lady. I, I, I I'm take, gonna give her a high five. She says, "Yeah, I mean, you know, I take a, I take a dumps bigger than that dude." Um, so, uh, ba- back at the uh, the uh, sunken cunt, um, Gatrin, uh, you and, and Gray and and Moose Clancy um, are uh, having a good old time with the uh, the old elves. Uh, the other guy finally wakes up, um, and he's like, "Whoa, I think I've had too much." <laughs> kind of blacked out there for a minute <laughs> and uh, the guy slaps him on the back and he, he's like you didn't black out the moose kicked you and he's like what <laughs> oh whoa weird um, I'm gonna use one of my horns to slide him another beer he says hey, you're alright and he high fives your horn um, <laughs> and about that time 
um, a uh, somewhat um, lost looking halfling uh, walks in uh, and he's like, he's like, <laughs> you see him go, well, I'll be damned. There's a moose. Uh, and uh, he starts walking up to you, Clancy. Um, and he, uh, he's like, uh, Clancy? <laughs> he says, okay, cool. Um, I don't know what I'm necessarily supposed to do, but like, I don't know if you understand people, but, uh, I was told to find a moose named Clancy, and you're a moose, and you answered to Clancy, so, uh, anyways, some, some people I met, uh, this, this girl named Melody and some others, told me to come find you, uh, I was, uh, I'm gonna drive the cart, uh, and, uh, I was looking for somewhere to stay, and, um, he, well, here we are. And he just kind of looks at you, like, hopefully. Just, like, shake my head out of motion him to come over. He says, okay, cool. Uh, and, um, as he's walking up, the, uh, the elves are like, oh, look at this little man walking up here. He says, hey, uh, got the runs. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's shorter than you. I say, wait, there's another moose. And I take out my nut, my cup chucks and pour a little of the foul water in the drink. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah. Hey, roll, roll decks. Uh, Dex is <laughs> oh, yeah. oh shit! Yeah, yeah you, you definitely get when it there. matters. Um, yeah, I mean, you, you 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 definitely get like a full ounce at least in, into his uh, his cup, uh, and um, he, he's uh, he's too drunk to notice for sure. Um, <laughs> so uh, he, he's oh, he's like what? And he he squints and he's like, I mean, I see two moose, but I I think it's just the same one. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> You're not done drinking until you see four mooses, 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 mooses. I don't, I don't Mimosas. know. Mimosas. Mimosas. <laughs> and uh, then he takes a swig of his drink, and he's like, ah, delicious. Da, 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 yeah. da, tequila. Um, Sorry. Got run. <laughs> okay, got the run. <laughs> <laughs> They're going to know why you got that nickname now. Yeah. Uh, they just gave it to him. <laughs> yeah, I know. Right? But, um, yeah, uh, and so... Um, uh, just Elmer. What's his name? It's like two seconds ago. There are too many people with names in this place. Um, <laughs> Hugo. Um, Hugo's like, uh, so are, are these your friends, Moose? This is cool. Uh, so, uh, friends of the Moose, uh, I'm, I'm Hugo. Uh, it's nice to meet you. Uh, 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 do, do you guys speak moose? <laughs> He's like, oh, yep. What the? Well, it's it's a lot of money, so. Yep. <laughs> Listen, do you do you guys uh? do you do you guys know where I could maybe spend the night? I'm just gonna wrap up. You can, you can share the it. foot of my bed. I don't fill it up. Yeah. He's like, oh, yeah, oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, I'm just fucking with you. Uh, oh, so oh okay. Okay, cool. <laughs> uh, he says, uh, so, uh, he kind of leans over and do you, uh, you're right, with, the, with the moose arms still around him. He says, look, do, do I have to sleep with the moose? <laughs> no. He says, okay, cool. Because, I mean, I mean, listen, times are hard, and 20 gold's 20 gold, <laughs> but, like, you know, it ain't that hard. Is that what you're trying to say? No, I know it's definitely that hard. I mean, twenty gold's like a lot. Twenty, 20 gold <laughs> buy me a house. It's that hard, okay? Well, but like, you do you, man? But like, I don't want to have to sleep with the moose if I don't. If I don't want to have to. I mean, no one okay, does. Okay, then sleep you don't the have to sleep with the moose. Mm. I don't know. I don't oh, cool. Thank that. you. Thank Whatever you. Whatever you got. Yeah, I mean, we're, I don't we're, fill it up. We, we little you guys. Take the bottom half. I'll take the top. Yeah, we, we little guys got to stick together. You do whatever I'm, you need to do. Yeah, cool, cool, cool. Uh, good. All right. Well, 
Um, and so, like, the night Terry's on, uh, do you have any more interactions y'all want to have before you, like, go to bed? Any other locations? Uh... We're in a bar, so I'm assuming there's at least a small stage for entertainment. Yeah. Cool. I'm gonna hop on that and start doing a moose dance. Yeah, I roll, roll, roll your decks. Roll your decks. Uh -huh. Is it a jaunty or is it seductive? Uh, with a twelve, it's seductive. <laughs> Sexy moose dance. Let's go. So you you attract the attention of a couple of centaurs. Um, and uh, and uh, one satyr. Uh, did, did Clancy just hit the turbo bass button? Yeah, uh, he, he put his boombox down. All right. <laughs> <laughs> and all the so old people are they dancing. serving boiled goose? <laughs> boiled goose. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yeah, um, and uh, if Clancy were to choose to do so, he could definitely like, uh, you know, go to bed with. Uh, uh, a centaur or two, and probably the satyr for sure. Um, so, All three. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Um, yeah. <laughs> Moose getting turned up. Disease. Yeah. Um, at one point in time, uh, the uh, you're, you're you're sandwiched between uh, the satyr and one of the centaurs, and uh, the satyr kind of calls over to the centaur. And he says, "I don't know what this feeling is, but like, I don't ever want it to end." And it was like, me too, yeah, party. <laughs> uh, later that night, he shows you his oh face. <laughs> Once you go moose, you're kind of loose. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> no, not that loose, because you got, you got tiny, tiny genitals. Um. Tiny moose genitals. Tiny moose genitals. <laughs> um, so, uh, anyways, um, that happens. Uh, yeah, uh, Hugo spends the night with Gotrin. Um, they, uh, his, uh, his hairy feet might tickle you a little bit. Um, I'm just as hairy, if not more. I'm yeah. A dwarf. Why don't the dwarves have hairy feet? Uh, dwarves are hair. Oh, yeah. I mean, their beard reaches their feet, so you know, maybe, maybe, yeah. Um, cool. Um, let me get. Uh... Melody, roll, roll a two d six on your constitution for me. Okay. Yeah. Um. Twelve. Yeah. Um, so you guys are sitting there with the bar of melody. You're, you're about to turn in for the night, um, mm -hmm. and um, for for just a moment, uh, her bag of holding like uh, rustles a little bit, uh, and the flap starts to come open, and Melody like pushes it back down uh, and, and tries to play it off like it didn't happen. I'm gonna look at her and be like, "Look, Melody, we've been a." together for a long time but you gotta get your shit together and I'm just gonna walk <laughs> off Fiamma's gonna look at Melody and be like if that thing comes to bite us in the ass I'm gonna kill you <laughs> and then also walks away I uh, give the little teeth the gopher teeth and then walk away well you're not in the same location right? <laughs> so oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah sorry <laughs> kill me and uh maybe I was like a uh, what you got in there, dearie? Secrets and then a scuttle upstairs. She says, yeah, well, I guess a single girl's got to take care of herself somehow. <laughs> <laughs> Did you guys buy her a room? Yeah. Uh, you can come stay with me. I don't care. Um, <laughs> all right, yeah. Uh, so she she, uh, she she goes up, like, just after Fiamma and goes into the room. Um, so, yeah, you guys... You guys you have your night, um, and uh, you wake up the next morning, and you, you go to head out, I assume? Yep. Sure. Cool. Um, yeah, so, I mean, you guys start making your way down the road. Uh, it's about another uh, week's journey uh, from where you are in here. Uh, During the trip, I'm consistently fucking with the driver. 
Okay. Yeah, yeah. So how's that, how's that going down? Like, yeah, so he goes up there and he's 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 trying to like steer uh, you, the raptor, and the donkey. Occasionally, I'll tell Gotrin to distract him for a minute, and then I'll start trying to walk off the edge of the road. Um. So, uh, Gotrin, I guess, uh, do you agree to that? I guess. Oh yeah. Yeah. Roll charisma. <laughs> Yeah. So, um, yeah. You, so what are you What are you talking to him about? To try and distract him. Talk to him about the different types of mud wine and the, and the history of it. Yeah. Because um, there's more than one type. So uh, he starts to fall asleep a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, perfect. And uh, yeah, as soon as but, but as soon as he feels like the the wheels of the cart going into like unsteady like uh, ground, uh, he kind of wakes up and he's like he's like starts trying to rein you guys back back into line. What, what do you do? Uh, I squat and poop. Uh, he's like, uh, so he turns to you, Gotrin, and he's like, uh, uh, is, what's wrong with the moose? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, he has a broken heart. Oh, okay. And, <laughs> and I leave it at that. So I just leave it at that. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> Sure. <laughs> he says, uh, by the way, who's in charge of this group? Is it somebody in charge? Yeah, I point to the moose. <laughs> he says, it's ten gold. It's ten gold. It's ten gold. It's ten gold. Fiamma's just chuckling in the bag. <laughs> and uh, so, so he, he starts whipping the, the reins. It says, Come on, uh, Clancy, Moose, let's go. Come on, let's go. I stay still for like another two minutes, and after he gives up, I start walking. And he's like, "Ten gold, ten gold. Buy a house, <laughs> you buy a house." Um, and uh, it just keeps going on. Um, now, are you guys looking? Uh, are you just like camping out uh, when it sort of gets nighttime, or are you trying to find towns? Small towns. I just can. figured we'd push through. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> someone would sleep while someone else was riding. Okay. Until um, we got to big towns. Big towns, I'm okay with. Your, your animals have to sleep at some point in time. You can't just, yeah. like, you know, run them to death. Yeah, they get a few hours during the hottest part of the day in the shade. Yeah. So, all right. Um, so, yeah. Um, after some time passes, you do eventually arrive uh, at uh, Sayoberan. I, I, I would tell you that I named it, but I used a random name generator. So, there's that. Yep. Um, cool. Here we go. Come on, load. All right, there we are. So, yeah. So, you arrive here at the entrance of uh, Cyber Ann. Um, and it's a, I mean, it's a pretty, like, decently sized, sprawling town. Um, not not the likes of, uh, you know, like the Capitals or Macketeer, but it's bigger than Ugrin. Um, or uh, Kimaru's, uh, and so uh, there are two guard towers uh, in front when you're first arriving, um, and there are uh, four guards, two on either side at the bottom, uh, and however many there are in the guard tower. Um, so you get up to the entrance of the town, uh, and um, the guards are there, and there's there's a, a couple of people in front of you also like entering the town, and everyone that walks up, uh, you know, the guards are talking to, and they kind of just go in. Um, so, uh, you are, what's the configuration? Uh, who holds in the cart? Who's all out of the cart? Walking into town, Fiamma, we get out of the cart. Okay. I would probably get out of the cart as well. Out. Yeah. Alright. I would stand on the front of it, my hands on my hips, like Titanic. Stand on what? Stand on the front seat next to the driver with my hands on my hips. Okay. Uh... Clancy would try walking on its hind legs and <laughs> uh, yeah so Hugo's struggling trying to he's, he's like down no this you can't act we are going into a town down down, <laughs> down. <laughs> so, uh, do you get down or no uh, just before we actually get into the town I force the cart into the woods on the side and then I de-transform <laughs> <laughs> okay yeah um uh so when you detransform, uh, uh, Hugo's like, "What?" He's like, "You got bamboozled, son." He's like, mm. "Wait, 
I know you. You're, you're like Clancy the Merchant Clancy. Indeed, I am. Wait, you, you can't transform. Well, I've been horsing around lately. <laughs> he just like looks at you like with disgust a little bit, uh, and he's like, Ugh. "Well, if you're involved, or, listen, are we doing something illegal?" Always. Ouch. Don't yes, ask me. But ouch. <laughs> Look, like, are, are you selling these people? No, no. These are, what's that word? Friends? Yeah. He says, mm, this does not give me an easy feeling. It shouldn't, but he, it's uh, too late. He, he wanders <laughs> over to, uh, uh, Melody, um, and, uh, He's like, uh, Melody, uh, Melody. Yes. He's like, now look, I know you're in some shady stuff, right? Obviously. But like, <laughs> Clancy, really? The, the group picked him up like a stray. He's like, uh, I guess. He says, well. He kind of didn't leave. Yeah. He's like, all right, well, uh, so listen, I, I've uh, I've been to this town once before, and uh, it shouldn't be too hard to get in. They're gonna ask what we're carrying, uh, what our business is, how long we intend to stay, that kind of stuff. Uh, but uh, as long as nobody does anything weird, we should be all right. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you're not, you, you guys aren't gonna do anything weird, are you? To the best of my abilities, not. No. <laughs> but right. that's not a lot of abilities. Maybe. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> um, he says, okay, well, let's go. Um, and uh, so you guys are pulling the cart back around. Uh, you, you get to the entrance. Um, and um, as soon as you get kind of close, uh, rule of certain realities, all of you for me. Okay. Um, Holy shit. Ooh, Clancy yeah. sees all. Kiyama sees a little. Yeah. Alright. Um, Mist sees all. So, I see uh, stuff. Yeah. So you're, you're eight to nines. Uh, you guys hear a little bit of rustling up in the guard towers. Um, and uh, you, you see the guards uh, at the gate, um, you know, just standing there waiting. Um, for uh, Fiamma and Mist, um, you actually hear the tightening of bowstrings uh, as you approach, um, and you can see uh, the guards on the wings of either side uh, look up at the um, the uh, towers and kind of nod. Um, and so uh, as you approach, uh, one of the guards walks out and he says, "State your business." Why are we business. having bows drawn against us? He says, "Oh, you notice that." He yes. Says, he, says, he says, it's just a precaution, you know. There's been a lot of, uh, a lot of strange people doing strange things. Uh, I don't know if you heard so about that. So are you saying this town's not safe? He says, oh, no, it is safe. That's why the bows are drawn. We don't uh, allow, you know, ruffians or, or murderers or thieves to get in the, build, into the uh, town. He says, uh, I don't you can tell by looking somebody, somebody. He says, well, that's why we're asking questions and discerning. He says, you, I don't know if you heard. Uh, has anybody ever told you they're a murderer? He says, no. No, they haven't. <laughs> he says, well, actually, he says, actually, one time they did. Yeah. But then they left. <laughs> he says, it was really weird. But, you know. Uh, but says, anyways, um, Look, we just have a couple of questions to ask, and as long as you're on the up and up, we'll let you right in, all right? Same thing with everyone. Look, sure. it's nothing personal. We draw the bows for every person that passes through. We're just making sure the town stays safe. I'm sure you can appreciate a safe town. We can. Safety is my fifth middle name. Um, he looks over and he says, Well, I mean, you're the strangest looking person I've seen in a while. So, <laughs> I may have a few more questions than normal. <laughs> so, once again, 
State your business. Passing through, maybe purchasing some items. This is okay. Also passing through. Yes. Okay. We're just looking to stay the night. All right. And uh, what's in the cart? Me. People. <laughs> He says, uh, I was in the cart, and now I'm not. He says, oh, God, I hate wise asses. Listen, um, <laughs> just, just, let's just make this as smooth as possible. Uh, do you mind if we take a look in the cart? Yeah, go ahead. Cool. Any motions, and two of the guards uh, go. And they look, look, look in the back, um, and uh, they get back forward. Uh, and then it says, uh, this your driver? And they're pointing at Hugo. Yeah. Uh, my driver says, "Yep, I'm the driver." And he says, uh, "All right. Uh, now, any of y'all been here before?" Uh, and then, uh, well, before Hugo says anything, do you guys say anything? No. Yeah, we've never been here. Uh, and Hugo's like, "Yeah, I've been once before." And he says, "He says about how long ago was that?" And Hugo says, oh, it's been about five or six years." And he says, "All right. Uh, and uh, have you ever uh, have you ever been?" Uh, Evicted from the town, and he says, "No." Nope. He says, "What's your name?" And he says, it's "Hugo." And he says, "All right." Uh, and then I'll need to get uh, register everyone coming in. Can I get names for everybody? Uh, what do I normally say? I'm Ted. Yeah, Ted. No, or Bot. No, Bill. I'm gonna just call myself Bill today. Bill. All right. Thomas. It's Thomas. Got it. Dwarfy Bob Horton. <laughs> Sir, I just don't believe that's your real name. Dwarfy Bob. Hey, man, don't make fun of the name your mom gave you. Yeah, don't don't make fun of Dwarfy Bob. He gets pretty pissed off about it. He says, look, look, I ain't never I can no vouch for Dwarf. him or my name isn't Thomas. This is fine. Dwarfy Bob Horton. Fine. Um, and uh, what does Fiamma say? Fiamma. Fiamma. Melody. Um, I don't know. Betty. Betty. Okay, I got it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. Betty. He says, uh, now, uh, and he kind of points over at the raptor, and he's like, uh, that's a little bit of a peculiar, uh, burst of beaten, beast of burden. Is that going to be any problems? No, he's a rescue. All right. <laughs> he says, all right, and how long are you plan on staying? You said just the one night. Yep. He says, "All right, cool." Um, he says, "All right," uh, and he uh, tears off this thing and he hands you a like a piece of paper, and he says, "This is uh, your town pass. Somebody asks for it, you present it, uh, and uh, you're good to go." Did this fool ask my name? Oh yeah, what was your name? Sorry. <laughs> He didn't ask, now. it's already passed. Yeah. <laughs> Turns out one of the guards was slipping on the job. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, he says, oh, uh, and uh, can I see your face? Uh, to, to Clancy. All right, I'm going to transform my face. Yeah. Nine into a very ugly... <laughs> Uh, lizard man. And then I pull off my mask. Cool. And he's like, ugh. Oh. He <laughs> says, uh... Ow. Oh, okay. He says, uh, listen. Uh, Thomas, was it? Yes. He says, uh... I get why you wear the helmet. Uh, do you have any ties? Uh... No, I don't have that much of a neck. To the to to the, bro to the, to the brotherhood. Uh, considering I'm a female now. <laughs> one of the guards just leans up and says, "I don't think he's smart enough to be in the front of brotherhood." And he's like, yeah, "You're right. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you, you keep that helmet on. Uh, some people probably won't take too kindly to lizard folk being in the town, so." Thank you. I slide it back on. <laughs> I'm keeping the face though. Yeah. He's all right. All right. Carry on. Uh, and you guys pass through. Um, and Godric, um, we need to find the Brotherhood. 
I don't know what it is, but it sounds nice. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I mean, you get in, you see the general layout of the town. Um, there seems to be a, a, a fair mix of races. I mean, it's still it's still going to be predominantly dwarven and human, but there are, like, there. I mean, there are, like, uh, elves. It's not quite as diverse as, like, Macrater is, but obviously certainly uh, more diverse than the dwarven nation or, you know, I mean, um, many of other places you've been. So, um but I mean, it is it is pretty walled up, uh, and um, you can see there's uh, what looks to be maybe some sort of government or capital building in the back back here, um, and uh, looks like uh, there's a few places. I mean, there's a few like B and Bs um, and stuff. Uh, it looks like this building here uh, is a uh, shopping plaza that also has uh, pubs uh, and inns in it. Um, so. I want to go to the fanciest, magical-looking place there is that I can buy shit from. Clancy's looking for the seediest bar. <laughs> um, so, um, as far as fancy stuff, um, I mean, this is like, you know, it's got a lot of shops in it right here, so there'll be fancy things, maybe not necessarily what you're looking for, but you could probably, once again, ask around and find out where the good, the good stuff actually is. All right, I'm going to look for a smart guy and be like, hey, you. Yeah. Hey, I mean, listen. <laughs> yeah, look, listen. Hey, look, you <laughs> listen. Um, what happened here? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. You have to ask someone, I guess. Um, so you go in there. There's people shopping or whatever. Like it's, it's kind of like a mall almost. Um, like I'm looking for magical items, the best. Yeah. Uh, I'm a trader. So are you, are you just asking some random person you're walking by? Yeah, man. I don't give a shit. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, you ask a random person, they're like, oh, magical stuff. Um, yeah, man. There's a there's a there's a magic shop just uh, just like around the corner. High end magic shop. He says. I mean, I, I guess their their products are pretty good. Yeah, I don't like that. I ask another person. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's. Uh, I mean, let's roll into some realities, I guess. Sure, man. Fuck you, Mike. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, right now you. you really <laughs> Guess think. what? Yeah. The cobalt um, guy has a cousin. Yeah. No. Uh, no. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, maybe, maybe you walk into the magic shop, um, and uh, you know, uh, it's this, this guy has uh, like it's not real magic. It's like magic props. Maybe I stop a person and I give them a fucking gold coin. And I don't have to influence them at all, and I just say, "Where's the best damn magic shop in but town?" You, you have to find someone who, who like knows knows the, like you know, there's like good magic. Like, it's, it's not that big of a town. They should know where the really expensive place is that has magic. If they buy that kind of stuff. Not, not a lot of people are buying magic stuff, necessarily. Remember, magic was taboo not that long ago. Yeah, okay. Um, so, anyways, you guys are looking around. Um, and uh, we'll probably pick up next week because we're hitting sort of time at this point uh, with whatever's going on in this town. Um, it's just a lot. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to join the Brotherhood. <laughs> Yeah. Um, so, um, let me get, uh, Melody, roll, roll, uh, on your constitution. Okay. I'm sure stop. this isn't going to play into anything. 11. <laughs> yep. Um, so, uh, and then the rest of you roll the certain realities real quick. Oh, Lord. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Mm. Clancy, seven, Fiamma, eight. Yeah. Doctrine, one. <laughs> All right. Plus one. So, uh, so uh, <laughs> Mist and uh, Gotham, you don't see crap, right? <laughs> Sounds um, right. And um, so Fiamma and uh, Clancy, um, y'all see just about the corner of your eye, um, the flap of Melody's back like open and close. Um, and then for uh, Gray, uh, when the flap opens and closes. You see a skeletal arm come out for like half a second, and then like Melody push it back down into the bag. What in Great Dragon's ghost was that? Squirrel. Mmm, that wasn't no fucking squirrel. What do you have in your bag? Gray, what do your wolf eyes see? Uh, a skeleton hand just popped out of her bag. Mm. 
Yeah, you know I'm what, telling. You know I collect bones and stuff. Uh, a skeleton bag, a skeleton hand opened your bag. She got something moving in there. Melody, from this point forward, you're to walk ten steps ahead of me. That's Fiona Clancy's like, I don't give a shit. <laughs> <laughs> I just kind of shrug. Yeah. Um, all right. So, uh, if y'all just, if y'all just let it be, then y'all let it be. And then, you know, we, we think of next time. Pretty Sounds much. Good. Yeah. All right. Just cool. pick up next time. Yep. Uh, so, yep. We'll, uh, we'll we'll deal with that later. <laughs> Yay! Uh, yep. So, hey, uh, I was really, I was really glad we had everyone here tonight. Uh, it's good to have everyone back together. Um, yeah, it was nice. So uh, I missed you guys. I know. Yeah. Even though I work with most of you. <laughs> so. so next week I'll be out. No. <laughs> next week I'll be out. No. How about that? That way it's not nice <laughs> even for everybody. Yep. Um. I right, cool. So. Uh, goodbye to our stream. Yeah. Next goodbye, time. stream. Yeah.